Okay, so in this video, we're gonna learn about rationalizing the denominator, but with more complex kinds of denominators. So I've said here, what if the denominator is more complex? We don't want this denominator, which is a root two, and then we have an, an integer here. What if we don't want this to be irrational anymore? We want it to become a rational number. What could we multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by that would make it have a rational denominator? Now we actually did an example earlier on in the brackets video, which was skill number five, where we multiplied this thing or something that looked like this by something else that gave an answer that had no thirds in it. I'm just gonna quickly scroll up to that to see if we can spot which one it is. So one of these questions was multiplied by something that gave us just a rational answer. And the one that gave us the rational answer that worked, that I'm looking at, yeah, this one has a rational answer down here, but this is the one I'm talking about. We did the difference of two squares, this kind of pattern here. And when you multiplied this by this thing, the same thing, but with a minus, the square roots canceled out and you were just left with a whole number or an integer here and an integer here that would simplify to an integer or to a rational number at the end. The important thing was that the thirds canceled out. So we're gonna use this idea of the difference of two squares to help us to rationalize this denominator that we've got. So I'm gonna try and multiply by the same thing, but with a negative sign. But of course, you need to do the same on the top and bottom because we need to multiply by one overall. Now, when I do this, I find it really helpful to put brackets around everything because when I see brackets, it reminds me to do the full bracket expansion for stuff. So the numerator is super easy. It's just gonna be one multiplied by the root two and the minus one. So it's just gonna be the root two minus one. Now the denominator you need to be a bit more careful with. So you need to do your whatever method you do for double brackets. You could always do it somewhere else on the page, but you've got the root two times the root two, which is two. You have the root two times the minus one, which is minus root two. The root two times the, I've already done that one, sorry, the one times the root two, which is plus root two, and the one times the minus one, which is minus one. And here's that crucial thing happening. The plus root two and the minus root two cancels. And that's always going to happen if we use this pattern. So you might be able to spot shortcuts that allow you to do this, where you know those middle bits are gonna cancel. So all that's left to do is to finish simplifying this fraction. So the numerator is root two minus one, and the denominator is just two minus one, which is one. And so our answer is just root two minus one because dividing by one just means that the number stays the same. And I'm gonna just quickly show that to you on the calculator. If I do one divided by the square root of two plus one, we get root two minus one, which is the answer that we had here. So instead of what we did in the previous part where we just multiplied by the same, uh, by a number which was literally just the same as this third on the top and bottom, we do this instead. Instead, we multiply the numerator and denominator by something which is called the conjugate of the denominator. This is the same expression as the denominator, but with a minus instead of a plus or vice versa. So it's like almost the same thing apart from you switch whatever this middle sign is from if it's a plus to a minus or from a minus to a plus. And this thing is called the conjugate. You kind of come across this phrase of the conjugate when you do further maths um, or if you're doing some things with maths at A-level when we talk about this topic. It's nothing fancy, it's just a fancy word to say the same thing, but you're gonna switch from a plus to a minus. So this is really exploiting the idea of the difference of two squares, okay? So let's have a look at applying this with some examples. I am going to do five examples and then you're gonna try five examples as well. So we're gonna to have to work through these and see what kind of stuff comes up. So this first one, the conjugate is going to be root six plus two. And that's a root six plus two for the numerator. I like to put the brackets everywhere. So the numerator is going to be the four times the root six and the four times the two. And the denominator is gonna be the root six times the root six. Then there's gonna be the root six times the two, so that's plus two root six. There's also gonna be the minus two root six. And then there's gonna be the minus two times the plus two, which is minus four. As expected, these canceled out, which then gives us for the numerator, four root six plus eight. 
and the denominator is a 6 take away 4, which is just 2. Now, this is the part where you might want to think carefully about what's going on here. We have 4 root 6 plus 8 being divided by 2. So it's kind of saying add them and then divide it by 2. But actually, you could just divide this by 2 and divide this by 2, and it's equivalent. So you could do 4 root 6 divided by 2 and 8 divided by 2. You can split that fraction up in that way. I call that splitting the numerator. And 4 root 6 divided by 2 is just 2 root 6, and 8 divided by 2 is just 4. So we've got this final expression for this question here. OK, let's try this one. We're going to multiply by the conjugate, which is going to be 4 minus root 3. Same on the top and bottom. And I'm going to put brackets around there to remind me that it's a double bracket expansion. OK? So I'm going to do the 5 times 4, which is 20, and the 5 times the minus root 3, which is minus 5 root 3. Now the denominator, you get the 4 times the 4, which is the 16. You've got the 4 times the minus root 3, which is minus 4 root 3. And then you're going to do the 4 and the root 3 from the next part. And then your final bit is the root 3 times the minus root 3, which is going to be minus 3. So we get 20 minus 5 root 3 divided by, of course, these things cancelled out. The 16 minus 3 is just 13. So we can either leave it like that, or we can split the numerator as a 20 over 13 minus 5 root 3 over 13. It depends which one you prefer. Sometimes this will be more useful, or you could think of it in this way. So both of these answers are really good. In fact, I'm going to highlight the answers that I think would be acceptable. It will just depend on the phrasing of the question. They might ask for it written in this form or in this form. OK, so let's try this one here. I'm going to be multiplying this by 2 root 2 plus 3 on the top and bottom. Again, I'm going to put some brackets around here to remind me of what's going on. So I'm going to do the, the numerator. That's doubling the top part. So it's going to be 4 root 2 plus 6. And then on the bottom, let's see if we can do this one, just the beginning parts and then just the end parts, because we know the middle parts cancel out. So the 2 root 2 times 2 root 2. If you need to jot this down somewhere, it might help you. 2 root 2 times 2 root 2. Well, that's 2 times the 2, which is a 4, and the root 2 times the root 2 is another 2. So it's actually a 2 times 2 times 2. It's just going to be an 8. So there's going to be an 8 there. Now, I'm not going to bother doing the 2 root 2 and the 3 and the 2 root 2 and the minus 3 because they're just going to cancel. So I'm just going to do this minus 3 and this plus 3, which is just going to give me minus 9. So what we have is 4 root 2 plus 6 divided by minus 1. Well, if you divide by minus 1, you get the same answer, but just with negatives. So you get minus 4 root 2 and minus 6. Let's just check and see if that's correct. I'm going to put this on the calculator and see if we've got it right. So I'm going to do 2 over 2 root 2 minus 3. Minus 4 root 2 minus 6. Yep, that's the exact answer that we've got there. OK, so these just might have some unpleasant numbers, but you can see these ones previously just had one number in the numerator. We're now going to do it where we have a different expression in the numerator. So I'm going to multiply this one by, remember it's always the denominator that we're concentrating on, 5 plus 2 root 6 and a 5 plus 2 root 6. Put brackets everywhere to remember that it's double brackets. So the numerator, we're going to do starting off, I'll do the first, I'll do these two, that's going to be 20 root 6. Then I'll do these two, so you have the 4 times the 2 and then the root 6s give you a 6. So that's 4 times 2 times 6, or 8 times 6, which is 48. Now I'm going to do the 7 and the 5, which is 35, and the 7 and the 2 root 6, which is 14 root 6. Now you can see why you're going to want to save some time on the bottom bit. I'm going to do the 5 times the 5, which is the 25. If you want to do the middle bits, that's fine, but they're going to cancel out. So I'm just going to do the 2 root 6 and the 2 root 6. So that is going to be a negative, the 2 times the 2, and then the 6. 2 times 2 times 6 is going to be 4 times 6, which is 24. So you're going to have, for the numerator, the 20 and the 14 root 6 is 34 root 6. And the 48 and the 35, that is going to be 83. And the denominator is 25 take away 24, which is just 1. 
So actually, I don't even need that denominator. It's just 34 root 6 plus 83. Okay, let's do this one here. I'm just trying to show you as many kinds of questions as possible. I'm going to multiply this one by a 5 root 2 plus 3, so the conjugate of the denominator, 5 root 2 plus 3. And I'm going to do the denominator first this time. Why not? So I'm going to start off just doing the 5 root 2 times the 5 root 2. That's a 5 times a 5 times a 2, which is 50. And I can ignore those middle bits if you feel comfortable with that. I'm just going to subtract the 3 times the 3, which is the 9. And then the numerator, I've got the 3 root 2 times the 5 root 2. So it's the 3 times the 5 times a 2. 3 times 5 is 15, times that by 2 is 30. Now that was those first two, I'm going to do these which is 9 root 2, these, which is 10 root 2, and then the last ones are the 2 times the 3, which is the 6. So we have 36 plus 19 root 2 over 41, or 36 over 41 plus 19 root 2 over 41. This is the best answer for this one, either this one, or this one, depending on how the question wants it. So, I'm going to ask you to have a go at these three questions. Pause the video and see if you get the right answer. You can always check on your calculator. And if you want to do all of them at once, I'm also going to scroll down to the last two questions. You can try these two questions as well. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit faster through these. So, I'm going to multiply this one by root 3 plus 2 and root 3 plus 2. So the numerator is going to be 5 root 3 plus 10. The denominator is going to be the root 3 times the root 3, which is 3. The 2 and the 2 are going to multiply to minus 4. So it's 5 root 3 plus 10 over minus 1, which means you can just have minus 5 root 3 minus 10. The second one is going to multiply by 3 minus root 2. 3 minus root 2, brackets here. So the numerator, the 3 times 4 is 12, the 4 times the minus root 2 is minus 4 root 2. The denominator, you have the 3 times the 3, which is the 9, and the root 2 times the root 2 is 2. So it is 12 minus 4 root 2 over 7, or you could split that as a 12 over 7 minus 4 root 2 over 7. You can have it as those two kind of separate bits, so either this or this are good answers. Okay, so this is going to need to multiply by a 5 root 2 plus 3 and a 5 root 2 plus 3. Again, I like putting brackets everywhere. So times in the top by 5, I'm going to get 25 root 2 plus 15. And then on the denominator, the 5 root 2 times the 5 root 2, that's 5 times 5 times 2, or 50. And I'm going to be subtracting the 3 times 3, which is 9, because I knew that those surdy bits in the middle were going to cancel. So that is 25 root 2 plus 15 over 41, which is just 25 root 2 over 41 plus 15 over 41. This answer or this answer are both accepted. Okay, last two questions, ones where we've got thirds on the top and bottom. I'm going to multiply by this as a 3 minus 2 root 3 and a 3 minus 2 root 3. So I'll do the denominator because I think that one's usually quicker. The 3 times 3 is the 9, and I'm going to be subtracting the 2 root 3 times the 2 root 3. So that's 2 times 2 times 3. That's minus 12. Now the top part, I've got the 3 root 3 times 3 is 9 root 3. That's that part. Whoops. That is that part. Now I'm going to do these two. So that's the 3 times a 2 times a 3. 3 times 2 is 6 times 3 is 18. So that's minus 18. And then I'm going to do the 4 times the 3, which is a positive 12. And the 4 times the 2 root 3 is minus 8 root 3. So the top looks like we have a 9 root 3 and an 8 root 3, which is just root 3. And minus 18 plus 12, which is minus 6. And that's being divided by minus 3. So that is root 3, or minus root 3, over 3. And then you have minus 6 over minus 3. Well, those negatives cancel and you're just going to get a plus 6 over 3, which is 2. So you'd probably write that as 2 minus root 3 over 3. Let's just check that one, because it's so easy to make mistakes in these questions. So I'm going to do a fraction. I'm going to do my 3 root 3 plus 4. 
divided by 3 plus 2 root 3. And we have the 2 and the minus 1 over root 3 hasn't been rationalized, the denominator. This calculator is not as good as your ones. Your calculator would give you that one there. Okay, we're nearly there. This has been a long video. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the uh, conjugate, which is 4 root 2 minus 7. Same on both sides, brackets. Okay, again, I think the denominator is a little bit easier here. So I'm going to do the 4 root 2 times the 4 root 2. That's 4 times 4 times 2, which is 32, minus the 49, which is the 7 times 7. We get the 3 times the 4 times the root 2. So that's going to be 12 times 2, or 24. The 3 root 2 times the minus 7, that's minus 21 root 2. The minus 9 times the 4 root 2 is minus 36 root 2. And the minus 9 times the minus 7, which is plus 63. So it looks like we have, for the numerator, 87 and then minus 57 root 2, all divided by 32, take away 49, which is minus 17. So we can split that as the negative 87 is going to be negative 87 over 17, plus, because there's a negative and a negative, 57 root 2 over 17, which probably you would write with this part first because it's positive and that bit's negative. But I'm not too bothered. I'm just going to leave my answer like that. So you can see why this is tough, right? There's a lot of things going on here. Um, but if you've got all of these correct, you're obviously doing very well with this thirds topic. So that's all of the different skills. The last video that I've got, which is going to just be a couple of exam questions to have a think about. And then we're going to move on from there. Found this video helpful then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like the next video in the playlist you can click here to be taken straight to it and as always wishing you the very best for all your studies